I'm going to bring you into my incredibly dirty workbench here just to spend a minute or two to show you how, uh, how I use the HECO FR300 desoldering gun. Uh, this gun allows you to remove components from a printed circuit board, I think about as easily as it can be done. Uh, you plug it in, you hit the start button right here, it takes a couple of minutes to heat up. And when you pull the trigger, a vacuum pump will uh, suck out the solder once it's been melted. And the solder will go into this little plastic container that has to be periodically cleaned out. It has also has a little filter that has to be replaced occasionally. Uh, I've got a left power amp board out of a Marantz 2275. And I'm just going to remove two or three components here and uh, try to show you how this works. We're going to start off by removing that orange electrolytic capacitor there and then we'll uh, we'll remove a, a differential pair of transistors that has six leads total. And you can see how easily that comes out of there. All right, we're going to uh, do something simple here. We're going to remove an electrolytic capacitor from the board. We're going to remove this capacitor right here. And then after that, we're going to remove this differential pair of transistors that's in uh, shrink wrap here. So there will be six leads connecting those two transistors together. Of course, just two on the, uh, on the capacitor. But uh, first thing you do is just turn the board over and identify the, uh, the leads that go with the component that you want to remove. In this case, these two components right here, a little, little bit of looking, and you can tell that those two are the ones. I take the uh, FR300 and that removes the solder from one terminal. That removes it from the other. I give it a small jiggle while I do it. Not enough to lift a trace, but enough to uh, sort of keep the solder from recombining whatever little bit is left. And then the component will just lift off. I always check polarity on, on the things like capacitors to make sure the board marking goes along with what I see, and it does. So that component is often ready to replace. Inside this uh, shrink wrap, uh, are two small transistors and I'm going to remove those to replace them and on the bottom uh, there are six leads that are in a little bit of a circle right here so it's pretty easy. I keep my finger on the component and after I get close to having everything done I start giving it a slight jiggle. It takes about a second or two for the solder to melt I've got three of them already. There's four. There's five. If I jiggle it, it's all moving. So those uh, those six leads are separated now. And if I turn it over, you should be able to just grab the component and pull it out without uh, hurting the, the uh, board. Now at this point, I'll take a little isopropyl alcohol with a Q-tip and I'll clean those pads those uh, just to make sure there's not a lot of extra flux or anything on there and it'll be ready to resolder. Uh, so that's the use of the HACO FR300 desoldering gun. Uh, I wouldn't want to do this work without it. I know a lot of people are very skilled with uh, copper braid and with manual suction devices. Uh, I just think that it, in my hands, this is the this is the way to go. So I, I highly recommend it. Thanks.